Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be discussing what you should guys be farming at AR45. I know I'm a little bit ahead <laughs> because I've just been, um, you, you know, just farming away just to prove that it's uh, good to farm certain things and whatnot. Uh, and also there has been a lot of events recently. If you guys haven't done the event first, first thing you should you should guys to do is definitely farm any events that come through uh, from from AR45 of course and uh, if you guys don't know this is the event going on right now the unreconciled stars where you get free official get a um, crown of sage which is really really important to get up for your talent uh, level up material as this is extremely extremely rare um, and basically everything else but the extra moras uh, I mean extra Mora stuff that you can get extra and also these mystic enhancement or this stuff is a trap. I bought 23 because I had extra right but basically uh, if you have extra buy, buy into this but if you're free to play and you're farming um, this event uh, make sure you get everything like the, all of these talent books are definitely worth it as I think they are 80% better than uh, the chances of getting it from the domains and also this uh, crown of sages if you guys don't know yet this um, crown of sages um, is a talent up material at le at higher levels so when you reach a higher levels you'll require one of these and uh, this is extremely rare drop so get it while you can <laughs> from from the world bosses but this stuff this mystic enhancement ore is a trap guys because you'll be wasting four extra more runs uh, to be able to get mystical enhancement ore which is definitely not worth it and why is it not worth it because i hardly get a new weapon guys i mean you guys might get new weapons but i hardly ever get a new weapon <laughs> so yeah okay the next thing that you guys should be definitely farming for well should be starting to farm for now are basically the domains the artifacts that i told you not to <laughs> do until your ar45 and here's why guys i've proven why you shouldn't do it so basically it guarantees you a chance the dungeon runs and you can see i have terrible luck from all of these artifacts look how i got defense attack hp hp defense i'm i'm, I'm guessing getting absolute trash um <laughs> defense hp hp like what is this this is all trash guys all all all, all trash look at the substats all trash not even worth farming um, and if you farmed before AR45, these don't even come in legendary pieces. You'll be getting the same thing as... You'll be getting the same, but in a 4-star form. Um, so that's why it's more important to farm at AR45. So uh, you don't waste your fragile resin. And um, especially for the free-to-play players. And... You have a better gear, better chance. Well, you have a guaranteed chance of getting a legendary gear that's good. So this is the start of the huge grind. So basically, guys, this is your new home. Um, well, not particularly Midsummer Courtyard. I mean, your new home could also be um, down here at Va Valley of Remembrance, or it could be at Hidden Palace of Zhao. Uh, very popular one because there's a lot of good pyro characters. Um, Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern. And or um, domain of Ganyu. These are your new home, guys. Just go here, plunge as much uh, resin as you can into these, and get your artifact. This is what you should be doing until AR50, guys. Really, really important to get your gear up before AR50. And here's why: when you hit AR50, the difficulty curve ramps up. Apparently, uh, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of videos, a lot of people at AR50, or not a lot, but a few people at AR50, and uh, some of them are actually struggling just to kill the outer world, uh, like the overworld boss and stuff. And that is actually crazy. So make sure you guys prep. A lot of people aren't even leveling up their world level. You can hit AR50, get your uh, characters to level 90, um, because that's the cap. As soon as you hit AR. AR 50 you can get your characters and weapons to the highest level so for example um, you, you can get them to level 90 as you can see it requires level 50 and same as your m character essential material right here oh nice I got nice I got a free banner cool 
And other, other than that, um, so I suggest you guys not to raise your world level if you do hit AR-50 until you are really prepped with really good gear. As you can see, my gear is um, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, <laughs> it's not quite there yet, it, it, but it's getting there. Some of these are some really bad stats. Um, I, I wouldn't. I've dropped my ball game on the on the artifacts. I've been getting as many good uh, artifacts as I should be, but that's because I just basically just started farming domains. But we'll get there soon, and by AR50, we'll probably be ready uh, to not get completely dumpstered. Uh, other than that, after you hit AR50, remember to uh, keep on getting uh, materials that you may need, such as your ascension materials, uh, which is farming your geo bosses, um, your your flower, and the overworld mob that you may need extra of, and uh, your weapon ascension material as well, and talent ascension materials. Make sure you constantly farm that. This is a long process. You constantly have to go do this, and after you've somewhat completed your team, I mean, uh, somewhat completed your four main characters, which for me is Fischl, Bennett, Noel, and Zhang Ling. Uh, then you can move on to the next characters, which will be for me, uh, Xing Chu, and Deluke. <laughs> but Deluke is uh, nowhere near uh, being done. But uh, yeah, so after that, you just repeat the process for er new characters that you want into your roster. Um, there is a way to efficiently do this. Uh, so basically what I need basically to farm uh, in my case is the hidden platters of Zhao but I get absolutely dumpstered here because uh, I don't have a water or a good enough electric type so what I've been doing is making sure pump up my official because uh, I need that electro damage or I'm not going to be able to clear the hidden palace of Zhao very easily uh, for Deluke, Bennett and Shangling which I need artifacts for all three because my main DPS's are uh, pyro, uh, pyro types so I need my Fischl and Noel to hard carry me through those um, dungeons so make sure you guys um, can um, clear domains in the order of um, what you need next basically so I need my Fischl to be able to do uh, I well I need the fire the the pyro witch set so but i can't do the pyro witch set efficiently so i need my official and noel to be built up and also my xing chu which uh which i'll build up when i finish building everyone else up at uh when i hit ar50 when i hit that 90 mark and then the characters done what done after i hit 90 get the character um get the weapon to 90 as well uh, max out the talents which will be a slow process because at the moment talents needs ridiculous amounts of <laughs> things uh, you need to get these drops which drop on random which is annoying and also the the books as well uh, accompanied <laughs> it's just a lot of grinding guys you, you just basically grind everything here and you basically repeat what you've done from the past uh, games uh, I mean past uh, past couple of AR levels you know uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you found anything interesting, if you learned something new, or just in general want to share what your farming pattern is right now. Uh, yeah, peace out, guys.